I've heard you beavering away up here. So what have you been making? <laughs> it's beautiful. Should we go have a workout now? Ready, go! I've never really spoken crafty before, but total honesty, I've wanted my own activewear line for about 10 years, and I was looking into ways that I could make one without kind of being so overwhelmed by what I was doing and the Cricut came up because it has this iron flex material which is perfect for activewear. So I saw that online first and was like, ooh, okay, well maybe I could do my own printing onto some activewear if I could find the stuff. Luckily, I ended up teaming up with one of my friends and we've created my activewear line, but I still wanted to do it because I'm kind of looking into stuff for Jacks, also for Halloween and Christmas and birthdays. I've always wanted to be one of those mums that, you know, customizes things, makes her own stuff, is kind of the mummy go to if you want something different and unique for you. I wanted to make my own tote bags for my retreats. I wanted my own cushions for our new home. Like I just wanted to feel a bit more crafty. So Cricut was online and I was thinking this looks great but I do get very overwhelmed by anything that's too complicated. Luckily the whole website is almost foolproof. Foolproof for me. It's super simple and there is templates and designs for almost everything you can ever dream of and it runs you through step by step so you cannot mess up and if you do mess up it's so easy to start again because nothing takes very long. I mean most of these projects took me under the time it would take to make a coffee Really, it's really, really quick. Once you know what you're doing, it's super, super fast. So fast, I was quite shocked. So, let me introduce you to the key components of this. We're gonna start with, it's not that heavy, it's just being dramatic. So we're gonna start with the Cricut Explore 3. This is the large one because I'm gonna be honest, I wanted to make big things, but if you don't wanna make big things, there is a smaller version which is perfect for your office. All you do is connect this via Bluetooth or USB to your computer and then follow the on-screen instructions. And honestly, once you've done setup, it even gives you your own little dummy section so you can practice. So this cuts up to 100 materials, literally any material you can think of, such as vinyl, iron-on, and the incredible SportFlex iron-on, which can bend, flex, and stretch, making it perfect for activewear, which has definitely got my mind thinking about what kind of pieces I can make for Jax, or maybe Leon, or maybe even I can customize my own kit. Next, let's talk the Easy Press, which is honestly the dream iron. It's not very big, it's not very heavy, and if you're thinking of some small business ideas, this would be the dream. This is how everything turns into tote bags, cushions, clothing. This is your heat source. So connect it to your wall, and then you just input the material it's going onto and the material you're using, and then it will tell you the temperature and how long to hold it down for. It literally couldn't be more simple. I had great fun sharing this video with you guys so that you could see me have fun and create that little kit for Jax. I've heard you beavering away up here. So what have you been making? Hi, I'm just being Jacks. Little Miss well, Art Attack. I know, I feel like um, a little teacher. Here's one I made earlier. I've made Jacks a little workout outfit because now she likes working out with me. So I found this little sloth yoga. That's very cute. And then a little sloth yoga top to go with it, which I might steal if I can. What, and, it's all, and you stuck it all on? Yeah, yeah, I did it all myself, so in this vlog everyone will learn out how. So easy, I was doing that while you were literally doing a workout, and I made... Oh, that's very cute, a Jack's drink bowl. And a little snack box. That's really cool, well played. Yeah, I'm excited to show it, do you think she'll like it? Well, if there's food in there, she's <laughs> bound to like it. I some snacks in it, yeah, I hope she likes it. I might end up making you a whole kit. Alright. Would you like a kit? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> So that was my little Carly's craft corner. I'm now looking at all of my clothes, my wardrobe and everything in the house thinking, what could I do? What could I customize? So friends and family, you will be getting customized things or homemade things for the next couple of months, years. <laughs> um, right, so Jax is down for a nap. When she wakes up, we are going to show her the things that we've made her. I'm gonna do a little workout routine with her. This is something a lot of you guys have spoken to me about that you wanna get your kids moving more and um, we've, Got Jax moving since she was very, very little. We've always danced with her. She always is allowed to come into the gym. We recommend doing like 10 minutes movement with her every day. We'll be like, babe, do you wanna go move? Um, and I just think giving her her own little workout outfit and like drinks bottle and snacks thing will make her feel even more like it's something that she wants to do. It's very similar to when we got the paddle board. We got her own little paddle board outfit um, and her own paddle board snack bag, just so it feels like that's kind of like it's exciting to go and get those things, get them ready and wear them and put them on. So with movement, I'm now gonna share with you a little workout that we have been doing, or just, you know, it's hard to film because she doesn't like being filmed anymore, but I'll just try and film some of the stuff that we do. This is zero pressure, zero guidelines, zero anything. It's just basically thinking of things you can do, showing by example, 
creating obstacle courses and having fun. And we normally do this for about 10 minutes every day if she wants to. And so I hope this just gives you a bit of like inspiration of what you could do with your little ones. It's not a workout routine. It's more like a play movement routine. Sometimes we just pretend to be dinosaurs. But anyway, I'll show you that in a second. Right, I made you something. Why? Well, because I love you. So, you know how you like to work out with me? I was thinking that we could have a special workout outfit. So, Mummy made this. Look, I got you some workout pants. Look, they've got a sloth on them. They say sloth yoga. See, she likes the snack box. <laughs> the snack box says, Jack's is snacks. And we'll put some snacks in there for you, shall we, for our workout? And then, Mummy, put your name on your water bottle. It needs water in there. It does. Look, it says Jack's with a flower. Can you see the flower? I need the water. Hey, Thanks, babe. It needs snacks in there. Okay. For my workout. You, need, you don't need snacks for your workout. I do. Oh, okay. Is it going to be a big session, is it? Do you like it? Work out, work out, work out, work out, close on. Work out, close on. <laughs> wow, you look so cute. Okay, where's your hairband gone? <laughs> Where'd the hairband go? Uh oh. Did mummy lose it? Yeah. Where'd it go? Mm, it's okay. Come sit here next to me for a second. What do you think of your workout clothes? My workout is good. It's good? Yeah. What workout are you going to do? Jumping. Jumping. And bugok. And what? Bugok. I don't know what that is. What's that? Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Okay, we're going to stomp like a dinosaur? Yeah. Are we going to do tree pose? Yeah. Okay, should we go? Yeah. Have a look. What do you think you look like? You look great. You see the sloth? You see it? <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Should we yeah. go have a workout now? Should we go work out? Race you, go! Let's go into the gym. I love that. Should we do high knees to ABC? Ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, J, So as you can see, there is no structure, there's no anything. I try to do it in the gym so she has like a gym environment or sometimes I set it up in the garden so she has a proper space. I always try to get her into an outfit that she can move around and jump in, hair out of the face, always have some water there and some snacks. And we generally just do things like a little mini warm up, some form of cardio, some form of like jumping, strength, playing. I also always incorporate like singing the alphabet, twinkle twinkle little star, counting numbers, saying our name, trying to spell our name. So basically keeping her brain going while she's also moving, it's a great time to learn while moving. Um, she learned her ABCs by bouncing in a circle on the trampoline. Um, you don't need anything for this, but like if you have got stuff, so like a ball is really fun, a trampoline is fun, some kind of step or just bunching up all of your cushions, um, incorporating your slide outside or swing if you have one, and just having some real fun with it. No pressure, no longer than like 10 minutes or until you start to see that they lose interest. 
Some days they'll want to be doing it for an hour, some days they don't want to do it. So just listen to that. It shouldn't be something that they have to do, just something that they might want to do. And then in that way it becomes fun. Also put on or create their own playlist. Jax has her own playlist. I'll link it below, which is just full of her favorite songs. And uh, that makes her always want to do it more. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll link everything I've spoken about below. Um, enjoy getting crafty. Enjoy moving more with your little ones. Happy back to school. Happy back to work. Happy back to life for everybody. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.